Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video, and if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button, as well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to be able to transfer your phone storage over into a micro SD card, and not only just a micro SD card, but also how you'll be able to use the OTG adapter along with a flash drive. Now the process of transferring anything from your phone storage over into a micro SD card is super easy and it's pretty much the exact same steps if you want to transfer anything from your micro SD card over into the phone. Now you are able to use a micro SD card all the way up to 400 gigs and if there is one that's created after this video that's larger, even a 512 or one terabyte, you are able to use those micro SD cards in this phone as well. But the 400 gig SD card by SanDisk is the largest one you're able to purchase at this moment in time. If you are interested in that little uh, 400 gig micro SD card, the link is below the video inside the description if you are interested. So how you're able to transfer everything over into that micro SD card is by going over into your Samsung folder and clicking on my files. Inside of my files, this is where you can see the two different options. You have phone storage, which is the internal storage, as well as the SD card. Now what you're able to do is let's say you want to go to your internal storage and you want to move some pictures from your phone over to the SD card. This is where you go inside of the folder called DCIM, which is where any of the photos that you take is going to be inside of this folder and let's say that I'm gonna do a picture and just a couple different videos for this demo for this video I'm not gonna move it I'm gonna just do an option for copy which it will be laying in both spots my phone as well as the SD card but if you move it it'll take it away from the phone storage and over into the SD card so now you just choose SD card and you choose where you want it to go. So I can place it right back over into the DCIM folder, or I can even create one. So I can just maybe call this one GS9 new, and then some of these new images and videos is gonna go inside of this folder, and then now I'm just gonna hit undone. Now once everything transfers on over, this is now gonna be not only in the internal, but also this SD card. And you can see if I was to move on back, let's say I go back to this main page, here is the SD card. And we did create that new folder here with three items called the GS9 new, which this will still show up inside of the gallery inside of your phone. So now for the sake of the video, let's say that there's something that is on a SD card or even a little flash drive and you want it to move over to your internal storage. So really fast, I'm gonna go over here where it says the SD card. This is where you go over into the GS9 new. And let's say that I wanted to move these ones right back on over. You just basically go up over there again. You're gonna click on copy or move, however you want to. Click on internal storage. Click on the folder that you want it to go into. Let's say the DCIM. And then you just hit on done and then it's complete. But since those pictures are already there, I'm just gonna cancel this one out but that is how you're able to transfer it but okay now what's going to happen is if you have something that you want to put onto a flash drive or maybe a hard drive or anything else so now this is where you're going to want to use your otg dongle and then grab your little flash drive and here's those next steps so you can see here i'm using the otg usb adapter that came inside of the box of any of these brand new phones and i also have the flash drive plugged in and you are able to if you want to with this otg adapter plug in like a mouse or a keyboard you can even plug in a hard drive no matter what you want to have but for the sake of this video i want to show you anything with storage so i plugged in the usb flash drive but i do want to mention that if you are also interested in one that is a transfer speed of usb 3.0 which is a huge change from the little 2.0 that comes inside the box i will actually have this one placed below Below the video as well with a link directing you over into the tech c 3.0 usb otg for the 3.0 so you get higher speeds so here this thing is plugged in where we're going to do the exact same steps so you go over into your samsung folder click on my files and this is where you have all now those three different options internal storage sd card as well as the usb storage one so let's just say that we have something on the sd card uh, let's state that this GS9 new, which I'm just gonna move this entire folder. This is where I'm gonna choose on the very top on the options. I'm gonna hit on move, and I'm gonna use the USB storage one, and then I'm just gonna hit on done. And so now everything that was in that little folder is now also onto this flash drive that is plugged into the bottom of the phone. Now, the great thing about this one is that now it's not only just backed up on my phone, it's backed up on an SD card if I want it to, and it's also on this flash drive. So hope this video has helped you guys out for moving anything from your internal storage over into an SD card, as well as bringing it right on back, as well as using the OTG adapter to plug it over into a USB flash drive. And again, this little link right here for the Tech C 3.0 USB adapter is gonna be in the link to, in the description below the video if you wanted to have this one because there might be some flash drives out there that is USB 3.0 compatible and you wanna have those higher speeds instead of the original 2.0. So make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. My phone is actually about to die here <laughs> and outside of that make sure you guys click on this little subscribe button the very bottom left hand side share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and i'll see you guys later